The second clause of the ISO 27002 is, Organization of Information Security. This clause includes two categories, of which the first is, Internal Organization. The main focus of this category is on the task force of the Information Security Department or division within an organization, and its internal and external relationships. We start with the first control of this category, Information Security Roles and Responsibilities. In order to apply an information security program in an organization or even any security-related activities, specific personnel should be assigned such roles and have their responsibilities clearly defined. Taking information security policies into consideration, roles and responsibilities should be established in conformance. The main responsibilities of the staff would be managing information systems and related assets, and carrying out information security activities and processes. On a higher level, information security risk management activities should be defined and assigned to the proper personnel, especially risk responses, such as risk mitigation and risk acceptance. Delegation of authority is an option in case a staff member needed to delegate some of his tasks to other members, but the responsibility and accountability of those tasks still remains on him. In case of delegation, the staff member that is being delegated to, should have enough clearance to perform such tasks, and should be informed of any related dependencies of those tasks. To have a properly defined structure and appropriate roles and responsibilities, an asset management process should be in place, and critical assets identified. The protection of those assets should be assigned to the appropriate personnel, along with the documented activities that should be performed. An appropriate personnel, is a staff member who is competent and has the right skill set required to perform those activities. To keep up with any changing requirements, personnel skills should be periodically evaluated and when possible developed and trained. Depending on the size of an organization, the number of roles and their complexities differ significantly. In smaller organizations, Information security activities are usually integrated along with other information technology activities, such as network and system administration. However, having dedicated information security divisions in large organizations, is not an uncommon scene. 